This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations everyone, Valdemar here with a new game that is in the mail. It is The Cursed Crusade by Atlas. I like know nothing about this game. I just set it on my queue to send it to me and... Well, I guess we'll find out. It looks like kind of a medieval setting. So, um... I assume it's gonna be an action adventure. That's what it looked like when, when I uh, when I checked it out, so... Let's check out the... Validate. What, what does that mean? Oh, validate just means it okays the settings. Gotcha. That makes sense. Eh, I'm not gonna do any... No. Switching. I guess it's a multiplayer, maybe. Okay. Uh, there's no vibrate options. I don't worry about that. Then we can go straight to the credits or not. Alright, let's begin the game. Let's see, uh, let's see what this game has to offer. But yeah, there is a cooperative mode, so you could play two-player or online. You're just doing the solo mode. Okay. Well, it looks like I can only play it on. Uh. So I mean, looks like there's. I don't know. This would be a pretty short game if it only has five chapters. Or maybe it's longer than I expected. Maybe like a 10 hour game. Okay, here we go. I was about to say it wasn't like me. Uh, no, I guess there's multiple missions within certain sections. Let's see. Uh, uh, this will be peaceful. Uh, that's normal mode, I assume. Hard, and then obviously nightmares are difficult. Let's do normal, since I've never played it before. I don't want to risk uh, risk getting schooled by this. If I did, I don't know if I will. Yes, we are learning options about the game. Now start already. I've, I've already installed you. My name is Jean de Bale, one of the Order of the Knights Templar. In this bitter winter of 1198, it has been eight years since I departed from France, leaving behind my land, my castle, and more importantly, my family. I often wonder what possessed me to follow Richard the Lionheart to this place. In those days, he was a charismatic and enthusiastic young king. I suppose, like many others, but I was moved by his conception of the Holy Land and the promise of unconditional redemption. But the Holy Land didn't look much like the young king's vision. And the redemption we were guaranteed always felt just out of reach. However, even if this crusade didn't keep its promises, I did manage to catch a glimpse of what I sought. Liberation. Liberation for me, and my bloodline. Jean, it won't be long before Overrun. Too many have already breached the Crocs' fortifications. I warned them, Martin. This is a mighty fortress, but it's hardly impenetrable. Today the sons of Saladin shall succeed, where their fathers failed for many years. Nevertheless, this fortress is of little importance. Do you have it with you? 
Why else would I have sought you out amidst this havoc? Here, take it. I know it will find greater purpose in your hands than in mine. I will do my best to lead these soldiers until there are none to lead. You must continue our quest. Leave at once. Martin, you know I cannot leave you behind. Our code forbids it. Moreover, you need to see this through, just as much as I do. United, we cannot fail. Don't be a fool, Jean. It is my duty and mine alone to stay and command the men. As for you, I know you will succeed in our mission. You honor your tunic more than any Templar. Take the underpass to the southeast. Saladin's men have not attacked that wall yet. It shouldn't be difficult for one man to escape. Thank you, Martin. I will find salvation for us both, as well as my son. If your son inherited half the qualities of his father, he is beyond any doubt worthy of salvation. Go with God, old friend. Farewell. No, Martin. We shall meet again. In France. As I am not yet redeemed. The flames of hell shall bless my blade! I take us now to where our story begins. Thousands of miles away, in the kingdom of France, my family awaits my return. Or should I say, what's left of my family. When I departed for Jerusalem, my brother, cursed be his name, laid false claim to my lands and castle. The only treasure he could not steal was my son, Dens. If he walks proudly, it is because he bears the colors and the cross of the Knights Templar. This tunic is to him all that is left of me. My heirloom, in a way. On this February evening in the year 1199, my quest remains unfinished. As for Dens, his is about to begin. What happened here, gentle sir? Why must God always persecute the weak? That has nothing to do with God, old man. Who are these men? The devil's fiends. That's... who? But as fate would have it, there is another hero who would be impossible to forget. His name is Esteban Noviembre, a Spaniard twice my son's age. He's a clever, mostly dependable man, but at the moment, how his destiny will intertwine with my son's is the furthest thing from his mind. He also has a particular gift, both getting into and out of trouble. Ah, Esteban! Tracking you these last three days has finally paid off! How far did you think you'd get carrying our share of the loot? You lawless bastard! You better still have it! Right you are, hombre. I am lawless. And your share weighs uncomfortably in my pockets. I am concerned. Will I be able to carry what's left in your purses? Unfortunately, my son has always been equally as gifted at finding trouble. 
The village is empty, Lord de Mafra. <laughs> Hardly worth drawing our blade. Excellent, Bardois. And the church? Unspoiled. It's just over that way, my lord. Well, what do we have here? A Templar? Did you get lost on your way to the Crusade, noble boy? Templars? Ha! A priest with pretty tunics. I bet he wields that sword no better than a farmer. Alright, here we go. We finally get to play. Yay! Oh, what the hell? I'm not sh Okay, I'm, I'm trying to fight. Uh, wow, there's... I'm so used to games where you can just, like, run all over the place that, that I'm actually not used to this, uh... Okay. Oh, whoops, they press I can do it. Hold on. This guy's so slow. Look at this. Still think Templars are priests and farmers? Ow. This is not good. Look at this. I mean, I guess this might be realistic swordplay, but I don't know. I'm just so used to... My character's just like flipping all over the place, you know. I'll consider this yeah, training for the Crusades. Oh, there we go. This Templar's blade is mightier than five of yours. Okay. Denz is a talented swordsman who has never let fear best him in a fight. Perhaps that stems from the burden he bears. The Templar's curse. It is a terrible topic, but in the coming days, we'll shape his future. Dens de Bale, I have come to take you. You again? Will you never leave me in peace? Be gone, Wraith! Damned one, I will have you follow me to hell. Come closer, and we'll see. Yeah! Yeah! Fantasmas! Bail Fantasmas! I am nothing as simple as a phantom. You have spilled blood. It is time to atone for your sins. And I have come to collect. You're... You're just a madman. It's going to stop. Just like the other time. I only need to find somewhere to come to my senses. Not now. It is not my time yet. If I take lives, I do so for justice. To struggle is futile. I am death. I am everywhere. I am always. When I am sent to claim a soul in his name, I take it. None escape. Unfortunately for you, I know where my soul will be out of reach. I told you already. My time hasn't come yet. Okay, now what do I do? I guess I'm trying to get away. What am I doing? What is going on? I died, but... It wouldn't let me... Okay, I hope I don't have to redo the whole thing again. If not, I'm gonna cut it to that point it wouldn't let me move it was just kind of like i uh, it was surprising i, I was it's like okay go i was like all right i move forward and yet it had me press buttons and then stuff happened i don't get it i hope i don't have to redo the whole thing dens is a talented so yep with never but that's my not now it is not my time yet if I take life. Okay, so. How do I. Okay. It, okay. I, I can't move until I get. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, what was up? That was, that was. Like, my controller just wouldn't work for some reason. This place is hallowed ground. A threshold you cannot cross. Not take me this day, O oh death. I told you, I am everywhere. I am always. Time matters not. One day, you won't escape me. I need only one moment to 
claim your soul. It's not my time. At the very least, I have a safe place to spend the night. It's only a nightmare. Just a nightmare. What a realistic nightmare. But, did I really fall asleep in a church? Yay, I got four victory points. Woo! Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I get a D rating because of a... Uh, I died in the one part. I think my controller is bad. I real I keep talking about it. I really need to... That's me paying money for stuff. I don't want to... I don't want to do that. Alright, well that was a interesting introduction, mainly because I got very little gameplay, but a whole lot of uh, story. So, I guess that's an interesting way to begin. Hopefully there's more to it. Not that the story ain't interesting, but the combat seems to be a little weak, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. Alright folks, well thanks for joining me on this little crusader. Kind of reminds me of the last Templar. I wonder if it's going to be similar to that. Probably not. It looks like it actually had metaphysical creatures and demons stuff like that so it might be more interesting as a story but we'll see all right thank you all for watching hope you enjoy it and join me again when the crusade begins for god and kingdom